So I've been saying for a while that I was going to do a review of all the different diapers that I've used on both Elaine and Evelyn. I was finally going to do it and then I got sick. <clears throat> so now I'm almost better, almost completely 100%. I have my voice back so now I can actually do a video as opposed to um, just kind of filming something and then putting in like subtitles because you can't understand a word that I'm saying. So here goes. So first we've got um, Pamper Swaddlers. These are what um, the hospital gave me when uh, I had Elaine. I mean not this specific one. These are actually ones that I bought with Evelyn and I absolutely love them. So while Elaine was in disposables before her umbilical stump fell off, she was in Pampers Wilders. I think they're great. They are super soft on the outside, super soft on the inside. And um, one of my friends said that she didn't think that these had the little, like, guess I call it a divot, but like the little bow that goes down so that it goes down under so it's not rubbing on their umbilical stump. But this definitely has it. <clears throat> um, this time around at the hospital they had Huggies. I ended up finding that I didn't like the Huggies quite as much. I think these are much better. They fit better. Um, though one thing that my friends and I did discuss was that I have two girls, they have two boys. They said that the Huggies seem to fit better on the boys than the Pampers, and the Pampers seem to fit better on the girls. So that could be why I like this better. <clears throat> uh, the only thing that I liked better about the Huggies as opposed to the Pampers is that Pampers has Sesame Street and Huggies has Winnie the Pooh. Uh, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that we are huge uh, Disney people, so yay Disney. So yeah, these are these. Um, I mean, these are the same, well I guess no, these are a size 1, and this is a size 1, this is a newborn size, um, but like these seem so much bigger than these. But the this is the Up and Up brand from Target, which is a Target brand. These seem to run a lot larger than any of the other brands, at least the ones that I've tried. Um, in disposables, I've we've done Pampers, Huggies. I've tried One Loves and absolutely hated it. Um, it gave her a rash, and she was only in it for like an hour or two, and she had a huge blowout everywhere. And from what I've heard, there nobody has nobody that I know has actually bought loves. They've been gifts and they hate them and some of them like didn't even bother to open it. They just donated them. Cuz I guess it's better to have diapers than have no diapers um or crappy diapers instead of no diapers. So yeah. Um Yeah, so we tried the loves. We've done the 7th generation Whole Foods brand. I don't have any of the 7th generation diapers and I don't have any of the Whole Foods brand. They, um, they're pretty comparable to this, I guess. They're pretty plain. I think the 7th generation when we were using them had, uh, the Lorax printed on it. So it, it had a little bit of a design, but not really. It was only up along the band. <clears throat> They were, they were all right, but more expensive. So I was buying them because I had a Whole Foods gift certificate, and if I was already going grocery shopping there, I might as well just pick up diapers too, because I was living um, at my parents' house for a little while with Elaine while Joe was out of state for work. So I was not allowed to wash these guys in their washer and dryer, so that kind of, unless you're going to do a diaper service, which diaper services can be great, but it's more cost effective to just wash it yourself. But I will get into those later. Let's focus on the disposables while we're here. So this is the Honest Company diaper. 
I had never tried these. I always think that they're so cute because the prints are super, super cute. I uh, haven't, I hadn't tried these because they are definitely more expensive. I don't know if it ends up being more cost effective if you do the diaper service where they send you a set amount whenever and it's a recurring charge and yada, 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 yada. But I bought these because not only were they on sale, but I had a $2 off coupon at Target, which is kind of strange because I've never seen coupons and I've never seen these go on sale. So I don't know, like I haven't spent any time looking it up to see if it's actually true or not, you know, if the rumors have any merit, but supposedly Honest Company is going through some sort of um, major lawsuit because their claims about being eco-friendly and something are exaggerated or, you know, whatever. Basically the same type of deal that's going on with all these other companies. These, I, I was going to originally, when I started doing this, like I was thinking of things like I would say between the different things. And I was going to say I liked these the best because we've had no leakage. They just, for cost, they're, they're the best thing. Um, but after that happened, we've had a couple blowouts in these. So out of all of the disposables, every single one that we've ever had, these are the only ones that we've never had any sort of blowout, leakage issue, or anything. So I guess when it comes to that, these are number one. What I don't like about these is they're not, they're not as soft. They're like crinkly. This is a lot more smoother. Like I would, if I was going to have something rubbing against my skin, I would much rather it be this one. I mean, even like this one's pretty much the same as this one. This one's just quilted, but like this one's nice and smooth. It's soft. This one's kind of crinkly. So I don't know if that's because it's, you know, whatever it's made out of, but even the inside is kind of like, I don't know. It's just, it's not, not as nice and soft as this one is, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, but these fit awesome, especially my <laughs> my babies are heavy babies. Like Eve Evelyn was eight pounds nine ounces when she was born. Elaine was uh, nine twelve. Elaine was never in these, but Evelyn has been. But she's a string bean. She's very tall for her age, but she's like thin. So these seem to fit a lot better than some of the other ones, and maybe that's why we haven't had any leakage or blowout issues with these. And then who doesn't like a cute print? I mean, I guess most places, like, you wouldn't be seeing it, but because we live in Florida, like, especially on really hot days, we just have, like, she has, like, a little onesie on or, like, a shirt and a diaper and some socks. So these are cute. I don't know that I would pay full price for them. I would rather buy these. And we don't even really put her in these that much. She's been in these because we've been um, making sure that she's wetting enough diapers and uh, it's kind of hard to do that in the cloth diapers. And we also use these when we go out to the parks or if we're going to be out and about because it's easier to just use these instead of carrying around like four or five of dirty ones of those all day because you know that's not so fun those are the disposables so i would definitely say these are about tied for softness <clears throat> this one's the cutest this one's the best price oh the other thing i didn't like about this is that you'll see the lines on these those are to see if it's been wet or not. Like this will turn blue if it if she's peed. This has nothing like that. So you have to do like the squish test. So, you know, I mean it's not that it's not that difficult, but it's nice to just be able to like peek real quick and not I guess like be grabbing your kid's booty. <laughs> but you know, hey. So then let's move on to cloth diapers. So these are my fuzzy buns. I have, these are all of them right here. I think I have 27, 27, 28, um, enough to get me through, through two or three days. 
if I, if I wasn't going to wash like anything. And that's even like just being extremely careful. Like I was kind of saying about the checking to see the wet diapers, it's kind of hard to tell because these are already pretty squishy. So you kind of have to take it off and like check the weight and it's just harder. So these are great. These are um, fuzzy buns, pocket diapers, all in one. So these are one, one size fits all because they have all of these nice little snaps on the front. Not only that, I pulled this apart so I could show you. Um, there's all sorts of elastic, so you can change all the different sizes, and it's got the different numbers on it. So there's, there's, when you're looking at it like this, there's one here to change, there's one up here for the waist, and then there's two on each leg to change the size of the legs. So you can make them as little or as big as you want, and these can last you all the way up through potty training. So, considering... <clears throat> that a package of these costs six, six to eight, or no, six ninety nine. so it's like seven to eight dollars for, how many do you get? You get 44. So if your kid is going through seven or eight diapers a day, you're getting like a week out of a pack. You know, this one goes up from there, and so does this one. I think this one's closer to 10, and this one's like 10 or 12. So, I mean, 52, so $600 or so a year. And then these, all of these cost about 170 I think. It was 150 for, like, the starter pack where you get the cloth wipes, the cloth diapers, you get two sizes of these. These are the inserts that go inside of here. And then um, because of the, the fabric, this doesn't, doesn't absorb liquid. The liquid passes through. So they're actually not sitting on something that's like sopping wet. So that's how with cloth diapers, like it helps with the rash. Just do not use desitin on these. Do not do it. Do not do it. It will ruin your cloth diapers and you will hate yourself. Use something with, with like coconut oil or um, I forget what's in mine. Uh, of course, I didn't bring it in here. I meant to. Whoops. Uh, what was I even talking about? I was talking about cloth diapers. The, oh, the inserts, all the things that came with it. So the, it comes with two different sizes. So this is the smaller size, and then there's a bigger size that's a little bit longer. Those are for when your baby's a little bit bigger, and you don't have quite as much coverage with these little guys. Because even this one, like this is the little guys on here. It's all the way on to the edge, and it's kind of hanging out because that's just the size that she is. Um, actually, I probably need to make these a little bigger. She's been in the disposables for uh, probably two weeks now as we've been, like, monitoring it. She hasn't been gaining, well, she's been gaining weight, but she's not following the percentile that they wanted her to, like the ARC. But the, these last two weight checks, she's been on this new, new ARC. So I think that maybe she was just finding, like, her groove. But that has nothing to do with these. So we're going to continue on with that. So one of the things that I love the most about these is that they are so cute. They are so super cute. And, uh, you know, like I said, with the warmer weather, even with Elaine, when we were living in New York and we were living in Michigan in the summer, like I would just put a shirt on her and let her run around in these because they're so cute. And like, they're already kind of clothes. Like, why not? Babies like being naked anyway. So let me have some fun. And, you know, like I said, I got all of these for under 200 bucks. And they're, I mean, they're all fuzzy buns. But look how cute they are. Like, this one has little whales on it, and this one's strawberries, and I've got, like, every color of the rainbow. And, yeah, like, I love these. I love these so much. We've never had a rash problem in these at all, ever. Um, we've only ever had rashes in disposable diapers. So I would definitely 100% go with cloth diapers. Like I said, these are fuzzy buns. All I own are fuzzy buns. I like fuzzy buns. I don't even know if they make 
them anymore. I would guess that they do. These are actually from when Elaine was a baby. Like these are the same exact ones. I'm using them for both kids. So <clears throat> instead of paying, you know, $500, $600 a year while they're in diapers, which could be three years. So, you know, a couple grand a year. So yeah, so a couple grand in total uh, and for two kids. So then, you know, let's say five, five grand. And that's, you know, total for two kids for diapers under 200 bucks. That's it. And then whatever, you know, cost you have to do for like the detergent, which you can use like a regular powder Tide. I still have some Lulu's and the fluff left over from when I was had Elaine. And I think that cost me like 20 bucks. I mean, Evelyn is over three months old. She'll be, she'll be four months old at Christmas. And I still have some left. Like I'm on like the very, very last of it. So, you know, it lasts quite a while. So, I mean, even if you say that the cost to wash them and then uh, wipes, because you do, I do use like disposable wipes. I, I use Pampers Sensitive Thick Care just because um, I found that those are the most cost effective for us and we like those the best. They also are really great for removing like liquid lipstick, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but they are. It's the most cost effective thing you could do and it's eco-friendly. So even with the washing and everything like the price isn't that bad so those are those and then one other thing I did bring out because like I said we were at <clears throat> my parents for a while and they were not so about me washing diapers in their washing machine and whatnot um though we have no issues with it like it, it doesn't make your laundry smell like you use one of the things that I'm not going to show here is that we do have a diaper sprayer hooked up to our toilet. And that was, I think, $30 or $40 at Bye Bye Baby. And then you use a 20% off coupon. So it was even less than that. And, you know, you spray it all off in the toilet, which you're supposed to do that with regular diapers anyways, which some people don't. But I mean, it takes all of two seconds. You stick it in a wet bag, which I got with the, uh, um, the starter bundle. And I know a couple brands do the different starter bundles. I think Trily Banana, Grovia, I think Apple Cheeks. Is it Apple Cheeks? Something like that. There's a couple different places. You just got to do some research. And, you know, especially if like you're nesting and stuff like that stuff is fun, especially with the invention of internet. You don't have to go anywhere. Wear your pajamas. Make yourself some, some like red leaf tea and, uh, you know, something chocolate, something yummy, and sit at the computer and go crazy. You will enjoy it. <laughs> I have not yet met a pregnant mother who does not enjoy, like, window shopping online. So these are potty training. This is a pull-up, and this is a good night. These are for, like, the same size. These things are freaking huge. Like, when we were up north, we had Meyer, and we kept getting coupons for these guys. So we decided to um, give them a shot. We kind of switched between the two. These ones fit so much better, but they're more expensive because they're the, the pull-ups. I mean, both have Disney, so she was happy. The one thing that I do like about the well, other than the size, because this always was kind of like hanging off of her, she we got lucky with her that she really didn't have many like accidents. I think she only ever had one at night or like during a nap or anything, so that was always good. These ones, as you can see, like if you tear apart the sides because you have poop or something, like it's done. But these do slide on and off pretty easy. Like these are pretty much regular underwear, like the way that they fit. These slide on too, but these also have like Velcro on the side. So if like you want a checker and there's nothing in there, okay, put it back on. 
and you can get it right back on. Especially since we, um, like if she didn't have an accident, we would save them and like use them the next night and like use them for two or three nights and then throw it away so that we weren't like using a new one every single night because they're expensive. Like, if you don't need to use this, like, why? Why spend the money? So, that's these two. I really like these. Just because, like I said, like, our girls are skinny. Little skinny minis. Um, and these were just, like, way too big. Like, I couldn't even believe that this said this was the same size. And I mean, look at, look at this. Like, there's that much more on this one. And yeah. So, there you have it. There's all of our diapers. Yay, I finally finished the diapers. So, if you have any questions about cloth diapers or washing them or anything, I am going to make another video that's all about the cloth diapers, washing them, how you care for them, like what you can and can't use with them. When that's going to happen, hopefully sometime before the end of the year, but I have no idea. But if you, in the meantime, have any questions, I am more than happy um, to answer them. And if I don't know them, if it's like a, sp of a specific brand, I probably know somebody that I can point you in the right direction or ask them or any of the above. So, yay, diapers. See I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and thank you for watching.